Hello lovely people, I'm Michał Kali Griggs, for those who don't know me. Uh, today I will uh, answer the question what uh, people ask me very often, uh, how you can protect yourself uh, at the Tantric practice. Yes, uh, I used uh, two ways. Uh, I used shamanic way uh, of uh, burning the sage and uh, um, put, uh, putting the smoke in all uh, four corners of the uh, place where I work. Uh, so uh, this is one way, and the other way, what it's also um, uh, my intention of all my uh, tantric work, uh, what I'm doing, I'm actually asking uh, my higher self to keep the prayer uh, all the time in my life, uh, to make actually all my life uh, al align with that prayer. So this is the prayer, what I would like to share with you. Um, and um, I feel I'm thankful for this protection. Uh, I'm very happy that during my uh, 11 years uh, of experiencing Tantra and uh, six years of uh, practice as a teacher, uh, as a masseur, um, I uh, never had complaint and I'm very happy about that. And I'm very thankful for that protection what this uh, prayer give it to me so um, I wish it will also help uh, you in such an efficient way but remember this is not only a prayer it's not only a words it's you really have to feel this is your intention and yes as I did this intention as a one of intention of my life it really works uh, for me and I'm very thankful that it is. So I will um, show you a presentation how I do this uh, prayer. Uh, normally uh, when I, before the massage, uh, I do it uh, much more slower, but of course for the presentation, uh, for the video, uh, I'm not gonna make the boring video. So I do it a bit fast forward, a bit faster than uh, uh, in real life. So, and also I explain what I'm doing. So I wrap my palms together. I place them on my heart. I connect with myself, with my higher self, with my lower self. I ask whoever I want to ask, whatever I want to ask. For um, whatever I feel to ask at this moment. Maybe it's nice connection, wisdom, beautiful energy, respect, trust, openness, focus, flow. I may ask that this uh, service, maybe massage, maybe teaching would be very nice and beneficial for me and for my students, for my receivers. I may consecrate I may set up the intentions. Then I wrap my palms together again. And then I move them wide apart. And slowly allow them to come close to each other.
when they are close to each other, I ask beautiful energy of unconditional love, universe and the nature to flow through me, to guide me, to allow me to be a channel that the love may circulate from the nature, from universe, through my body, to the body of the receiver, through my being, to other being. Then I wrap my palms together again. And then when uh, I do the massage, I connect with the person in an uh, open ritual. So uh, this is uh, the intention of my life, of my teaching. Uh, and I feel this is the best protection uh, what I can give to myself. Also, um, during the massage, uh, during the practice, uh, any time uh, when I feel that uh, something is challenging for me, uh, it, I um, tighten my PC muscle. Tightening your PC muscle, it protects you from the energy what uh, you don't want uh, to receive. So this is also a very beautiful tip uh, what I got uh, at my Rasayana Tantra Academy to protect myself. Uh, and it's like um, during the tantric massage, sometimes uh, the person have a release of the emotions, the energies are getting out from that person. And uh, those energies uh, looking where they can go further and they because you are open, connected, so you are the first target for them. So, especially at these moments where the release of the emotions, energies are happening, that's the moment when you should tighten your piece muscle and keep tight. And this also gives you nice protection. Also, yes, connecting with the uh, energies what you uh, are believing, uh, maybe some deities, maybe some god, some uh, um, person who you are adore, um, some elements. Um, yes, it's nice to create the altar in the place where you work and uh, yes, whenever you feel these challenging moments during the massage or during the uh, workshop, any practice, then uh, you may look just at the altar, at this picture, uh, and just connect uh, and, uh, yes, um, ask for the protection from these energies, from these deities what you uh, connected to. So this is also, um, sometimes, um, also you can create very simple uh, uh, altar, uh, the water and the fire symbolize two polarities. They are two very powerful elements. And because they are two opposites, polarities, they also symbolize the universe. So if, from these two elements, uh, you can also uh, create very powerful energy. So you place the uh, glass and the candle next to each other. And whenever something is challenging, you just look at and you, the universe is supporting the process. So these are the ways, uh, probably there are many other ways, uh, find your own, uh, what you feel. Uh, yes, uh, and uh, use it, don't lose it. Uh, thank you for uh, your attention. <laughs>